I was at KECY in Oxnard. My first concert was with the Champs, uh, and the uh, interesting group, by the way, because Seals and Croft were part of the Champs at that time. So we put on a concert, charged a buck and a half to get in. It was outdoors, and after an hour, the police came along and shut us down because uh, it makes too much noise. But that was the first concert that I ever, ever produced. And uh, I, don't, I don't know where it all came from, but I, I knew that I wasn't, I wasn't a very good disc jockey. I was just surrounded, you know, sometimes you're judged by the, those that you walk with. And I was surrounded by guys like Wink Martindale and Dick Biondi and Casey Kasem. And, and so I knew I had to do something else. So we started a chain of young adult nightclubs. Actually, didn't start a chain. We opened one right here in, in North Hollywood uh, called Cinnamon Cinders. Young, ad young adult nightclubs, a uh, buck and a half to get in, no booze, no booze, 30 cents for a Coke. But I had heard about a, a club in New York, the Peppermint Lounge, and Joey D and the Starlighters had a hit record called The Peppermint Twist, which, by the way, a little bit of trivia for you, the lead, the lead guitar player at Joey D and the Starlighters, Joe Pesci, how about, <laughs> isn't that wild? So Peppermint, uh, Peppermint Lounge, we had to come up with something, so we came up with Cinnamon, and Cinnamon Cinder is what it turned out to be. Uh, we ended up, it was a, a very successful, uh, very successful uh, adventure. I would hire people like Stevie Wonder. They would play Long Beach and North Hollywood, $750, two shows in one night. Uh, Beach Boys, Supremes, Ike and Tina Turner, uh, Chuck Berry. I mean, it goes on and on and on. And Righteous Brothers. So there, I, and, and then when the Beatles came along, because I was buying talent for Cinnamon Cinders, I had a, a leg up uh, in, with the Beatle thing, too.